Ebbervale is in the borough of Blaine Gwent and at its height the steel industry in Ebbervale alone employed over 14,000 people and so it was a huge employer not just for Blaine Gwent but for the South East Wales Valleys as well. The first phase of closure for Ebbervale Steelworks was in 1976 to 78 when we lost the heavy end which meant the iron making into steel was closed and we lost literally thousands of jobs. And we have one of the highest poverty levels in Britain, uh, people living under that poverty line. And so the well-paid job is very difficult to find. In a town like Ebu Vale, anybody coming from outside the town itself would be somebody coming in. And therefore, somebody coming in from North East India would just be somebody coming in. The first thing that I wanted to do, and which I did, was to learn more about the community, the cultures of the people here in Abu Vale. To know it, I knew that I have to be outside of the church, so I got involved in a voluntary organization called Homestart, where I went to visit a family, and I get to know more about the family who are outside of the church. And so that are some of the things that I began to do it. And I wanted to know more about what are the needs of the community. So there were certain things that was being done, questionnaires to the community, where we had quite a lot of good response from the community itself. And so from there on, we began to build the mission in this community of Abouval. I would say that the main thing that's bringing John here to Mount Pleasant in Abouval, the main thing that has happened is that he has, with the tools that he's brought with him and his personality, he has enabled mission. He has led people to identify their own gifts and therefore to offer their gifts in service to the church and in service to God's mission in the world. We have been able to build bridges with, with the community in terms of when we went to the nursing home, we were able to get in touch with them. There are certain things that we do during Christmas and special Christmas, uh, Christian seasons, festive seasons like Easter, where we host a community services and we invite people in the community to come along and join with us in the celebration. Mount Pleasant Church is a vital part of the, the community within this home and they visit us on the third Thursday of, of every month. They interact with the residents in a big way and they speak to the residents and they become part of the community within the home and residents get to know them and residents get to uh, even know them by name and look forward to them come in. We have also built bridges with the school and we go as, a, as open the book team to take the assembly. Where are we going to put God? Because when we go to the school uh, as open the book, uh, we always make sure that we have a proper rehearsal so because the children are there looking at every detail, they are so attentive to it, we want that it goes in the right way and that the message is being imparted to the children as it should be. The church has had a really growing involvement in the school over the last year or so. Um, the big sort of signature uh, event is the Open the Book Assembly, which takes place for the whole school every two weeks. And the team of contributors, actors, church uh, volunteers come in and really bring Bible stories to life, uh, animate them for the children, involve the children. And it's a lovely way to see them sort of understand those stories. Also, we have a growing um, link up in terms of um, uh, services that happen at Christmas time and at Easter time so different concerts carol concerts and Easter services where we take the groups of children down and their parents into the church to to share poems and readings and bible stories uh, with the congregation the team are absolutely wonderful um, they're really kind of they're full of enthusiasm energy fun and life and they really kind of you know they help to, to bring things to life for the children they're really good role models really good examples for the children and really upstanding members of our community both the wider community and the Willow Towns school community and uh, you know we're really grateful for their involvement and their time that they give to us every month. I think that here in Ebo Vale we have a wonderful example of people working together as a team, uh, people working together towards one common goal and actually being able to sacrifice maybe the things that they thought that that, that was important or even those things that were, um, that were dear to them um, because they, they've been able through various things that they do in this church, they, they've been able to grow together as a team. The congregation has grown 
uh, in, in different ways. It has grown spiritually. We have seen new members coming in, new people coming and joining us. And so I can say that it has grown physically as well as spiritually. One day I decided to go to church. So I walked through the door in Mount Pleasant. And that was the start. But when I came here, the love and friendship of the people here, I thought, well, I, I want some of this. I want to come here. So I started coming regularly then. I think that what we've learned while John has been here will help us to expand the church. And we can look at other avenues where we can go out into the community and we can get the church more known. And hopefully we can invite more people into the church. And we, I hope the church is going to grow and grow and grow. Whatever is relevant today will not be relevant tomorrow. And John now has been here eight years or so. And I think that what John has been able to do and the church and what they've been able to do together is to constantly ask themselves, is this the way forward? They've been thinking about mission and thinking, where do we need to change? How do we go forwards? And that is seen not just in what is happening here in this building, but actually the way they go out of this building, the way they most probably go out of their comfort zones as well. And they are there in the midst of the community living their lives. There is an opportunity in, in Blaine Gwent for, for many things, but I think spiritual revival is certainly one of those. We suffer from a poverty of opportunity in our area, both financially and spiritually. And I think the times are coming when people are now looking, uh, not just for the, the physical answers, but the spiritual answers. And so it's a strange thing to say, but I think in our borough at the moment, the churches have that opportunity to go back into the community, to influence people, to support people, and to give them hope because so many people in our boroughs lost hope. The darkness that people talk about, there is only one light, and that's the good news. And I think that light is there. We shine, we shine off the hill in Mount Pleasant, and the church shines in the community. And I think it will come back. People will need that hope and faith, and they will turn back to the church.